Greetings and blessings to all pro wrestling fans of all shapes and all shapes and sizes from all over the world. Welcome to another pro wrestling talk brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the U to the Tube. I'm your host, Blitzball Champ Jason Ingram. So, got a double header preview for this episode. So I'm going to be previewing two upcoming shows. Uh, we got a lot coming up this weekend, um, Cinco de Mayo weekend. But uh, yeah, first weekend of May, there's a lot to look forward to. But for this video, I'm going to be previewing two of the upcoming events. We got Wrestle Universe, uh, Wrestle Magic 2024 pay-per-view, of course, uh, Brought to you by Pro Wrestling Noah. I'm going to preview that. And then I'm going to preview the big collab show presented by United Japan Pro Wrestling called All Together. Got, a, got quite a card for that as well. So two big upcoming pay-per-views to look forward to. And I'm so excited to be previewing both of these shows. So... We are first going to start off with WrestleMagic 2024. Um, WrestleMagic 2024 will be taking place at the Rio Goku um, Sumo Hall in uh, Tokyo, Japan. And there's six matches on the card, but they look like really exciting matches. So I'm actually pretty pumped about this show. And one of the cool things was for um, Wrestle Universe subscribers, they actually can order this pay per view at a discount. So if you're a Wrestle Universe subscriber, definitely take advantage of that. I know I did. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and let's preview. Let's preview this card because this is quite a card. Um, and I have these, um, these might not be in the correct order, but we got six matches. Six matches, also a handful of title matches as well out of these six. So there's a lot to see. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started with this first match. And right off the gate, they are not messing around as we got eight women tag team action for WrestleMagic 2024, and it is quite a matchup. So, we have the ladies of Marigold, the recently joined Marigold, in action on this pay-per-view as the Marigold ladies of Julia, Utami Hayashishita, Mai Sakurai, and Mirai. We'll take on a, a very formidable group of four as they will take on the great Sakuya, Nagisi Nozaki, Takumi Aroha, and the Phoenix of Osaka, Miyuki Takase. Whoo wee! This is a tough one. This is a really tough one. I know that uh, the Mari Gold ladies invaded uh, Pro Wrestling Noah doing, ep doing an episode of Monday Magic. And, uh, yeah, I believe it was, yeah, Monday Magic. And, of course, that eventually led to Great Sakuya spewing mist in the face of Rossi Ogawa. Um, things definitely got wild. Oh, man. But something tells me that the Mari Gold ladies are going to get a little bit of revenge in this match. I, I could see them getting, getting some revenge with how things went down. So I am going to pick Team Mari Gold to pick up the victory. But honestly, I it doesn't matter to me who wins. I'm just, I'm excited about this matchup. I mean, eight very talented ladies going at it. There's a lot of, I mean, a ton of star power for this match alone. And with this match being booked, already 
gets me hyped for this show. So, looking forward to it, but I gotta go with Team Marigold. Julia, Utami Hayashishita, Mirai, Mai Sakurai. I think they're gonna pick up the victory. But it should be a really, really good match. All right. Let's keep it going with our next match. Here we go. All right. Going to get, get into our championship matches. And we actually have five championship matches. So this should be really good. But anyway... We got the GHC Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championships on the line in a survival three-way match, which I assume is going to be similar to how the last time I saw these titles defended in a, in a three-way match. It was, usually, it was elimination rules, so that's what I'm thinking this is going to be, but we shall see. But we have the champions from Good Looking Guys, Yohei and Tadasuke, and they'll be defending against the team of Dragon Bane and Alpha Wolf, and Shuji Kondo, and a mystery partner. Um, of course, I have no idea who this mystery partner is going to be. Um... You know, Yohei Tadasuke, they're a strong team. They're a very strong team. I mean, hey, the good-looking guys are a pretty strong faction. But another part of me could also see Dragon Bane and Alpha Wolf getting the titles. Um, it's tough. It's really, really tough. Um, but you know what? You know what? What the heck? I'm picking Dragon Bane Alpha Wolf to become the new GHC Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champion. So I'm going to just take a gamble. But I am very curious to see who Shuji Kondo's mystery partner will be. That should be interesting. Should be very interesting. All right. Staying... In the junior heavyweight division. Let's go to our next next matchup. Alright, so from the tag titles to the singles title. We got the GHC Junior Heavyweight Championship on the line as the champion uh, Dega defends against Alejandro. Uh, let's see. Um should be a good matchup. Should be a really good matchup. I like Alejandro. I especially liked when he uh, was teamed up with Ninja Mac. Um, but Dega's been a, been a pretty solid champion since winning it. Um, I think Alejandro will put up a good fight, but I'm picking uh, Dega to retain the GHC Junior Heavyweight Championship. But I think it'll be a hard-fought battle. But yeah, should be good. Definitely looking forward to this match. All right. Let's keep it going with our, our next match. I'm really looking forward to this match. All righty, we got the GHC Hardcore Championship on the line. As the champion, my man, Ninja Mac, defends against Shuji Ishikawa. Now, I can't say that I've seen a whole lot of Shuji Ishikawa, but, you know, I've seen him before. I've seen him a few times before. Definitely a threat uh, in this matchup, but, you know, I gotta roll with my boy, Ninja Mac. Gotta roll with Ninja Mac. Hopefully he picks up the victory. And, like I said, Ninja Mac, if you're wa watching, I would love to see you make a trip to the States, preferably be North Carolina. Come on down to DPW. Come on down. Love to see you in action live. Because, like I said, I, I enjoy your work. Um, 
the bounty hunter Brian Keith has said a lot of great things about you and like I said would love to meet you but yeah Ninja Mac for the win all right next up this should be very interesting so we got the GHC Tag Team Championships on the line um, as the champions, good looking guys of Anthony Green and Jack Morris, will actually defend these titles at an open challenge. Um, to be honest, I have no idea who could end up accepting this open challenge, but I think it'll be a nice surprise. I expect it to be a surprise. Um, and who knows? Maybe the 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 tag the open challenge tag the challenging tag team. Who knows? Maybe they'll pull off the victory. I I don't know. I'm I'm gonna stay neutral on this one because I have no idea who the opponents could be. I have no idea. But I'm excited and looking forward to to finding out when they show this uh, when when they um, sh do this show. So looking forward to it. And then what I assume will be the main event of Wrestle Magic 2024, and this is a big one. Ah, uh, yes. We have the GHC Heavyweight Championship on the line. As the champion, Hijo del Dr. Wagner Jr. will defend against number one contender Kaito Kiyomiya, who recently defeated Jake Lee to become the number one contender for this title. Now, I, I definitely like the fact that um, Hijo Do, uh, Dr. Wagner Jr. Um, is champion. Of course, I believe he, held, he has the record for first uh, Mexican-born GHC heavyweight champion. So I think that's really cool. Um, he's got a strong challenger in Kaito Kiyomiya. Of course, he's a former... GHC heavyweight champion himself. Uh, it's going to be tough, but a big part of me wants Dr. Wagner Jr. to, to retain. So I'm, I'm going to pick him to retain, but I would not be surprised if Kaito Kiyomiya won and become new GHC heavyweight champion. But it should be a solid match. Um, but yeah, the show is May 4th. Uh, it's coming up. Like I said, they only got six matches on the card, but they are six very intriguing, very attractive matches that I'm very excited for. Should be a good pay-per-view. Should be a really good pay-per-view. Looking forward to it. Okay, before we switch gears to all together, here's a quick word on the sponsor of this video, Game Beauty. Check them out. As you continue to enjoy content here at Blitzball Champ Gaming, be sure you take a moment to check out Game Beauty. Beauty inspired by gaming. Game Beauty brings to you video game related makeup and cosmetic products. You have products such as eyeshadow palettes, Elemental Pearl Highlighters, Eyeshadow Brushes, Liquid Eyeliner Pens by Akidiris, and even non-makeup products like Graphic Tees. They even have special collaboration makeup kits such as this Persona 5 Heat Wave Brush Single, Metaverse Bundle, 
and even a Phantom Thieves limited edition makeup collection. Also remember that Game Beauty provides international shipping of $60 or more. And if you use the promo code BLITZBALLCHAMP, all in caps, you can get 10% off of your order. So be sure to use that to your advantage. Now, back to your regularly scheduled video. Enjoy, and thank you. Alrighty, now switching gears to this next big upcoming collaboration show brought to you by United Japan Pro Wrestling presents All Together. This show takes place on Monday, May 6th, this will be at the Nippon Budokan in Tokyo, Japan. And we got eight matches, eight matches on this card, and they are pretty loaded. Very loaded, actually. So let's go ahead and get started with the preview of All Together. First up, oh man, they are coming out of the gate swinging. We got ourselves a 10-man tag team match, and it is quite loaded. Team number one, we got Kota Minora, Mao, Ninja Mac, Hayata, and El Desperado. And they will be taking on team number two, made up of Tetsuya Endo, Yamato, Hiromu Takahashi, Alpha Wolf, and Dragon Bane. Oh, man. Whoo-wee. It's a lot of talent. A lot of talent in this match. I'm not that familiar with uh, Kota Minora, so I'll be keeping a little bit of extra eye on him. Um, But wow. It's, hard, it's a hard one to pick. It's a really hard one to pick. Oh, man. It's a really hard one to pick. Uh, uh, I don't know. Dang, this is the kind of match that could go to a draw. Shoot. <laughs> but... Oh my god, this is so tough. Uh, I'm going to take a gamble and go with team number one for the victory, which is Kota Minoru, Mao, Ninja Mac, Hayata, El Desperado. I'm going to just take a gamble. But honestly, I like both of these teams, so it really doesn't matter that much to me who wins because both of these teams look really strong. All right. Let's go to our next match. And we got the we got the ladies of stardom in action. Check it out. All right, we got ourselves a tag team match. We have the team of Natsupoi and Starlight Kid taking on O2 Line from Queen's Quest, which are Azumi and Miyu Amasaki. Uh, to be honest, I was thinking this was pretty difficult at first because, I mean, you got Natsupoi and Starlight Kid. I mean, they're not really known for being a tag team, whereas in Azumi and Miyu Amasaki are an established tag team. So... 
I thought about it, but you know what? I just feel like the team of Starlight Kid and Natsu Poi is just a little too strong for O2 line. So I'm going to go with Natsu Poi and Starlight Kid to pick up the victory. But really cool to see these four ladies showcased on a big collaboration show like this. So I think that's awesome. I think that's really awesome. Should be an exciting match. Congratulations to all four of these ladies for this opportunity. All right. Let's move on to the next match. All right. We got, uh, this is quite an interesting one here. So tag team match. We have the team of Kai and Taichi. It was originally supposed to be Sonata, but Sonata is out um, due to injury. But they will be taking on the team of Zack Sabre Jr. and Chris Brooks. Of course, you know, Zack Sabre Jr. and Taichi were known as the Dangerous Techers back in the Suzuki-Gun faction. Um, but yeah, it'll be very interesting seeing former partners go up against each other. Um, don't know anything about Kai, so I'll put some extra focus on him come time for this match. But I'm going to have to go with Zack Sabre Jr. and Chris Brooks for the win. I just got a feeling that they're going to be a very solid tag team that would just be a little too powerful for the other team. But that's my pick. Zack Sabre Jr., Chris Brooks. But should be a good match. Should be a really good match. All right. Let's go into our next match. Oh, ho, 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 ho. this ought to be very interesting. Got a singles match here. We got Keno versus TMDK's Kosei Fujita. I gotta, I gotta be honest. This is gonna be a really tough match for Kosei Fujita, and and I like him. You know, he's been getting better and better, but yeah, I. Mm, oh, this is a really tough one. It's really, really tough one for Kosei Fujita. I think he'll put up a really good fight. But I just don't. I just don't think Kosei Fujita is going to pull it off. Would be quite an upset if he does. But I think I got to go with the safe bet and go with Keno to pick up the victory in this match. But this should be a really great challenge for Kosei Fujita. I, I, I look forward to seeing how he'll bring it in this match should be good all right let's go to our next match um oh here we go all righty we got some trios action so team number one we got uh naomichi marufuji sanshiro takagi and Mr. Ace President Hiroshi Tanahashi taking on House of Tortures Yujiro Takahashi, Rin Narita, and Evil. I'll keep this one short. Really hope team number one demolishes House of Torture. You already know how I feel about House of Torture. So, yeah. Bump House of Torture. I'm going with Marufuji, Takagi, and Tanahashi to pick up the victory. And moving on. All right. Now, this next matchup, I'm definitely looking very forward to. Check this one out. Oh, big meaty man slapping meat. 
in this tag team match, this bruiser of a tag team match. Team number one, you've got Daisuke Sekimoto and the Stone Pitbull Tomohiro Ishii taking on the combination of Jeff Cobb and Masa Kitamiya. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yo, I was already very high on um, the earlier matchup from earlier this year uh, between Minobu Soya and Masa Kitamiya. I was very high on that matchup. So, um, not only that matchup, but also Tomohiro Ishii and Masa Kitamiya. Like, those are two matchups that I just really, really was very high on. Um, but man, this, whoo, this is a tough one. This is a really tough one to pick. I don't know a whole lot about Daisuke Sekimoto. I've seen him before, but I don't know a lot about him. Oh, man. This is tough. This is a really tough one. But I'm gonna go with Jeff Cobb and Masaki Tamiya to pick up the victory. Yeah, I'm gonna go for team two. But this should be really, really... I expect this to be hard-hitting. Very hard-hitting. Test the strength, all that. <laughs> oh, yes. All right. Let's keep it going with our next matchup. This one's a very interesting matchup. Check this one out. All right. More trios action. So we have Los Ingonables de Japón of Yodosuji, Shingo Takagi, and Tetsuya Naito taking on the team of Jake Lee, David Finlay, and Gabe Kidd. Ooh, man. This is another tough one. Another really tough one. Um, and I mean, Jake Lee just recently lost the number one contenders match to uh, Kaito Kiyomiya for the GHC Heavyweight Championship. So part of me kind of could see Jake Lee, David Finley, and Gabe Kidd winning. Part of me could see that happening. But I'm going to say LIJ wins and probably Gabe Kidd eats the pin. I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. But... This should be a really good matchup. You know, Jake Lee taking on, you know, the folks in LIJ. I mean, that should be really interesting in itself. But a very intriguing matchup. Very intriguing matchup. And then the main event of All Together. This is quite a combination but we have a trios match team number one we have Yuki Ueno Kaito Kiyomiya and Shota Umino taking on team number two of Yuya Umura Konosuke Takeshita and Shun Skywalker First off, uh, congratulations to Yuya Umura on winning the KOPW 2024 championship. Um, this is a really tough one. But I'm going to go with team number one. Yuki Ueno, Kaito Kiyomiya, and Shota Umino. I'm going with them to pick up the victory. But... 
We'll see what happens. I, I definitely like this main event. I like this main event. I know many could argue that the that the previous match uh, with Jake Lee and Lij, David Finley and Gabe Kidd could be the main event. That could have you know been worthy enough for the main event spot, but uh. I'm already very interested in each and every one of these matches for this All Together show. I think it's going to be an awesome show. But yeah, you got you got eight matches. You know, no titles or anything on the line. Just a great opportunity, a great show to showcase a lot of different talent. I mean, look at the talent representation you have on this card. I mean, you got New Japan Pro Wrestling. You got DDT. You got Pro Wrestling Noah. You got Dragon Gate. You got, uh, who else you got? I mean, heck, AEW with Konosuke Takeshita. I mean, you know, he kind of represents that and DDT, but still, it counts, right? So, I mean, got a, oh, Stardom. You got Stardom as well. So, you got a handful of promotions represented for the show. And then, if I remember correctly, they're supposed to be doing another one of these uh, in June, I believe, that's going to account for some of the promotions that weren't covered in this show, if I remember correctly. So, that's a lot to get excited about. You know what I mean? But, looking forward to both of these shows. Like I said, um, Russell Magic 2024 will be on May 4th. United Japan Pro Wrestling's All Together will be on May 6th. So definitely look forward to both of those mega shows. And of course, All Together will be available on via pay-per-view, Abima live pay-per-view. So be sure you jump on that. And WrestleMagic 2024, Wrestle Universe pay-per-view. So definitely check both of those shows out. I know I will. And I look so forward to reveal to reviewing both of them. But anyway, that'll do it for this video. Don't forget to check out Game Beauty when you have a chance. And let me know y'all's predictions for both cards for Wrestle Magic 2024 and United Japan Pro Wrestling's all together. Let me know your predictions and what do y'all think about the cards. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell while you're at it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. For another pro wrestling talk brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the U to the Tube, I'm your host, Blitzball Champ Jason Ingram. Hope everybody has a blessed evening, and I will see y'all in the next video and or live stream. Peace.